Welcome to Kids Fun Science. Today's experiment is making a bubble snake. And welcome to Kids Fun Science. Today we're going to be doing an experiment. Um, we're basically going to be making bubble snakes. Yeah. Bubble snakes, all right. And so let's make the solution first, okay? My name's Grace. Oh, I'm sorry, yes, I have my two helpers. We have... Grace. Okay. And Hayes. All right, and my assistants today, we're going to make a bubble solution. I jumped the gun on that one. So what are we going to do first? Uh, we're going to be adding some water to it. Okay, let's do a cup and a half of water. And then we're going to take some dish soap. It could be any kind. I like to use Dawn dish soap. We're and ducks. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and give that a mix once you get in there. You can't have too much soap when you're doing. Is that about good? I do a little bit more. It's always okay. That should be good. Give it a little stir there. Okay. Can you tell? Yeah. All right. Now that's good stuff. That's good and stirred. Now we're gonna make our bubble snake uh, contraption here, right? So be really careful. Careful here. You're gonna cut your. Uh, make sure you cut. Don't cut your fingers off, right? Yeah. All right. Cut it out all the way around on the bottom of a bottle. This is so. gonna be difficult. I feel. You want help? You got it. I got it. Okay. So it's all the way off, and then we'll come back to yours in a second. Let's get Hayes on his. Yeah, let's go, boy. Let's try. Hey, now you have a nice sharp cup. There you go, a little sipping cup, right? All right, so now we got that, and now we're gonna cut some um, cheesecloth right here, just big enough to go over the end. So go ahead and cut a piece there of uh, the cheesecloth. Uh, just okay. cut off. Cheesecloth doesn't like to cooperate. Perfect. Now we're going to put them around the end of your of your uh, bubble snake contraption, the bottom, and then put a rubber band nice and tight and put a rubber band on it. Gracie's first. Need help? You got it. I got it. You think you got it, right? Oh, is it? This Thank is you. a little difficult. Well, to put the this was meant for kindergartners. What? <laughs> I'm joking. Usually two people works better. Yeah. So we'll see. Got that there. I want you to give it. Here, you want a hand there? No, I got it. The bottle kind of sometimes just caves in, right? Yep. You got it. I wonder why it's called cheese sauce. Yeah. I think they put cheese in it. It's a good question. We'll look that up. Huh? <laughs> I always buy it, but I never buy it for what it's used for. Cool. All right. So, so. we're gonna take our thing and then our solution. We're gonna just dip it in. All right. And then. Face it down, straight down, and blow. Keep going. <laughs> the wind. The wind's taking it out. You're getting it long. Can you get it to go to the ground? When you're blowing through that bubble snake bottle, you're creating hundreds of tiny bubbles. The air wiggles through the cheesecloth or the towel or any substance that you're using, and the bubbles continuously are being made. The bubbles attach each other when they come out of the fabric. This is due to the surface tension of the water. The surface tension of the water tends to make bubbles unstable due to the force they do not last very long, as we know. But by adding the soap to the surface tension, this lowers it and the bubbles are very stable due to the force of the water that exerts onto the re reduced area of the contact of the water surface. Thus, they tend to stick together better as they have less area to contact with the water and thus make it more stable for the total force and is reduced. Yeah. That's a good snake. <laughs> yeah, boy. Whoa. You get it to the ground, you get it face down. <laughs> you not mess with the low <laughs> That's a snake up your arm. <laughs> now it's a snake on my head. 
Oh, nice. He looked like George Washington. <laughs> Four. Wait, where is that? <sighs> All right, so what do we what do we say? Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and look at hey. Uh, please go visit Logan Paul's channel. I love Logan. Um, whatever you do, don't mess with the low game though. Yeah. Um, yeah. and just uh, I also want to make a shout out to Lance Stewart. Um, I hope that you're feeling better after that car crash. All right. And um. Yeah, I hope you get rid of that ghost. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Also, shout out to my friend Eminem and um, Logan Powell. And check out my um, YouTube channel. It will be in the um, link. The, the description, the description below. below. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.